What's up, friends and family? I'm Roosevelt Mitchell III reporting for Your Black World, where we report your black news, your black life, your black world. Today, I'm with Mr. Edward Dean, CEO of Adventures Youth Mentoring Organization in the city of Detroit. How's it going today, Mr. Edward? It's going pretty good, Mr. Mitchell. Man, thank you so, so much for your time. And as an educator and activist myself, it's truly, truly an honor to interview brothers who are starting mentoring programs because we need that so, so much today, and especially in the city of Detroit. Yes, sir. So can you tell us a little bit about your organization? Well, we mentor young men and women throughout the whole metro Detroit area. We do monthly mentoring groups downtown Detroit at the Skillman Branch Library. And then we also mentor inside of two schools. We are currently inside of Mark Twain and also Go Lightly Education Center. And then we also offer a six-week summer camp as well. Okay. About inside the schools, what age groups do y'all serve? Well, inside the school, we do sixth grade. We have a group of sixth grade boys that we mentor. It's called Lunch with a Mentor Program. And we just sit down and have a casual conversation with the kids while we eat. So just like a dinner table conversation, the kids have a way to, an outlet to express how they feel and actually have someone to listen to. Exactly. That would listen to them. Exactly, exactly. Uh, how are the results? Uh, are you okay. seeing, you know, positive? Yeah, we see some positive results. The way we measure that is we do a, um, right at the end of it, we do something called a survey. And the kids can fill out a survey as well as the staff and let us know if there's been progress with the child. And um, actually, I've been getting uh, a lot of compliments from the parents as well about the progress that their child is, um, is showing since they've been a part of the program. Wow. And only inside the schools that we do just boys, but outside of the school, we have about 35 to 40, both male and female, that we mentor in a group setting at the Skillman Branch Library downtown Detroit. Okay, well, let us know how big is the organization, like how many volunteers, employees you all have, how many students you all serve, and what other activities, you know, y'all do, like outside of the lunch program and outside of the summer camp, like field trips, things of that nature. Yeah, so, well, right now we currently service over 200 youth in the metro Detroit area. And beginning in July is when our six-week summer camp starts. Our six-week summer camp is to house 400 youth. We have three sites. We have Hartford Memorial, George Crockett Academy, and Golightly Education Center. And each site is going to have 135 youth per site. Uh, we also um, partnered up with City Connect to get our youth employees. So we're going to have employees by, uh, um, for every five children, for every five youth, there's going to be a youth employee. And we do weekly field trips. Um, this year we have uh, um, museums. We're doing a couple of museums. We're doing a, a volunteer out at the uh, dis disabled um, fishing derby to help the disabled um, individuals go fishing. We also have um, uh, the... Um, the uh, Metro Youth Day. So we have a lot of programs planned for the kids that we take in. So we got 400 kids, seven buses, <laughs> Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., all in the city of Detroit. Wow. And then wow. We, are, and we also have um, the Harvest Festival we do near um, around October. And then we have a holiday giveaway where we just give to those in need uh, around December. And then also in January, we do community service doing the winter months, we go around and shovel people's snow, help the elderly and single women uh, shovel their snow during the winter months. Wow. Okay. For all the viewers out there who may want to start a mentoring program in their own particular city, can you explain why you started the mentoring organization or how you all get funding for, you know, the buses, the lunch program and all of these things? Because as your black world, uh, we are... You know, we also own Financial Juneteenth where we talk about black wealth and black economic empowerment. So in order to do that, you know, we want to know how to create organizations that help our youth. So can you kind of, you know, elaborate on that a little bit? Well, to be honest, my friend, it's a lot of hard work, hard work, determination, dedication. And um, to be honest, our, the funding comes from just resource like the lunch, the, the summer camp. 
is manpower. You get volunteers that's going to help. It's going to help work the camp. I reached out to find out about the City Connect to get the youth employees. I tapped into Good Samaritan Food to get food donated for our summer camp for the lunch and the breakfast. I tapped into the resources. Um, like there's a millage out there to help with some bus transportations to go to certain museums. And then others, we do fundraising. Uh, we currently have a fundraiser, a firework fundraiser coming up on June 22nd. And it's $100 a person, but it's to help the summer camp. And uh, we have um, uh, Charles and Gwen Scales. They're some known jazz artists that's going to be performing. And we have a high rise right across the street from Hartford, uh, uh, right across the street from Hart Plaza, overlooking the second barge. And we have a room. We're going to have food and everything. So we're just trying to really sell out that event so that we can be able to fund the rest of the summer camp. But a lot of other stuff is resources, City Connect, uh, Good Samaritan Foods, and people just, you know, donating their time and, and going out there working hard, knocking on doors, boot to ground, getting people involved. It, it, it's hard, though. It's hard. The biggest challenge we face is volunteers. It's so hard to get some, some real people. I mean, I didn't hear some people come in and get involved and then leave out. But these babies need it. These babies need it. This, this city is falling apart right at our youth. And if we don't come together collectively and help these babies, we're going to lose them. So if it takes me out there by myself or six other individuals, we're going to change Detroit. <laughs> Please believe we're going to change it. And we're going to start with these babies. If we teach them how to give back, then they will start giving back and the summer camp will not just be 400 youth. It'll be 4,000, right. 10,000. And that's the goal. That's the goal. So the biggest problem is getting people to volunteer and, 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 and funding. Funding is real hard. But Have you know, you, it's, not, it's not stopping me, though. <laughs> it's exactly, not going to stop. Exactly. And I commend you because we have to fight for our babies because they represent... Zero percent of the immediate political landscape, but a hundred percent of our future, right? So they, so how we raise these babies is how they gonna take care of our community, how they gonna take care yes, of the world, right? So we have to invest in them. So with yes, that sir. being said, have you found any pushback about going to major corporations or trying to get major sponsorship, or do you just try? To I have, I have been reaching out to major sponsorship. And it, to be honest, my friend, it's so hard to get to that door. You know, I call, I knock on doors. They tell me to email. I email. I don't get response back. So, I mean, I don't know if I'm emailing the right person, you know, but, but I'm, I'm still, still trying to find out how to get to that person. You know, like downtown Detroit, it's the Illich. You know, I, I'm trying to find out how to get to that door, you know, to let, let him know what we're doing. But it, it's a little hard, you know. Um, but it's not stopping me. I'm going to find out who, what door to knock on to find out who's going to help. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So are all the parents very supportive the, uh, along with the community? Well, I'm going to be honest. We just recently started getting more parent involvement, which is a good thing. You know, we started doing the summer camp, and we get more parent involvement with the summer camp. Um, the community, you know, I'm still trying to get, you know, more involvement from the community, but I do have about six or seven strong volunteers that's been a part and ain't going nowhere. They committed to helping these kids. Um, and other than that, I'm still, still knocking on doors, my brother, and, and praying that the right person come along to help us. Exactly. But what I find so mind boggling is our culture, uh, African Americans, uh, I was just I was just in a grocery store yesterday, uh, and his brother asked me if I wanted to coach a baseball team, and I said, mm. I said, no, I'm okay. But there's so many fundraisers in the summer for for AU basketball programs and all that stuff, and parents support that, and they donate all their money to kids in sports. But when it comes to something as mentoring, educational, it's almost like you can't find no volunteers, you can't find, can't find no, no money, buses. you can't find no buses. Yeah. So how can we shift that? from our own psyche to our own people thinking that sports is more important than mentors for our ch children. Sports is more important than education for our children in the summer. How can we change or shift that paradigm? 
Well, number one, we have to stop trying to live vicariously through these youth. We have to train them. A coach is a mentor. And, and the biggest problem is a lot of the coaches forget the fact that they're mentoring these kids. And, and I've, seen, uh, I've seen a lot of kids stuck so much on being a successful athlete, they forget the academics. And we as mentors have to stress the importance of academics. If we don't put academics first, we're going to lose every time. And that's why we have a lot of, a lot of 25 and 26-year-olds still at the basketball court with great talent, but ain't going nowhere. Ain't going nowhere. And, 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 now, and now we're watching them booty up on our babies at the court, still try, like they're going to the NBA, Instead of grabbing one of these babies and saying, look, stay focused on your education. Stay focused on your schoolwork. Big brother them up. Big buddy them up. Take them to the park and play with them, but make sure you sit down and study with them. So I don't know if, I don't know if it's because of the lack of education some uh, older individuals may feel they don't have and can't give it back, or maybe it's just self-seeking. I don't know, but... I know one thing, it's not stopping the Avengers Youth Mentoring Organization. And that's why we start doing the group sessions so that we can sit down, the one, the two, or the six of us there is, and talk to a whole group collectively instead of trying to partner them up with individuals that don't want to, to give them that time. Right, right. Well, I thank you so, so much for your passion, for your hard work, and most importantly, for your dedication to the youth, man. And, uh, just keep it, keep it going, brother. And I uh, give you the last word. Thank you, sir. Um, if anybody want to be involved with the Avengers Youth Mentoring Organization, or just want to reach out and help a kid, you know, you can go to our website at www.avengersteam.org. That's www.a-b-e-n-g-e-r-s-t-e-a-m.org. On that website, you can see so much stuff we do with the youth. We also on Facebook at Avengers Mentoring. Right on our website, there's other links to our YouTube page, our Instagram page, as well as our Twitter page. And you can see so much that we do with the youth. And get involved. Volunteer your time. Uh, or, or, or donate or even buy a ticket to the firework charity event. It's the second annual charity event, and all the money from that event goes right into our babies. And if you, it's, a, it's also a video of our summer camp from last year. You can check that out, too, and see all the great things we're doing with our youth. There's progress in our youth, and you, you can see it right on our website. Man, thank you so, so much. And all the viewers, please support this dear brother. And again... I'm Roosevelt Mitchell III, reporting for Your Black World, where it's your black news, your black life, and your black world. Please support our new film, Resurrecting Black Wall Street. You can go to resurrectingblackwallstreet.com and order the movie and share it with your babies. And we need to tell this story so we can once again become prosperous as black people. Thank you so much for your time. Stay blessed. I'm out. Peace.